Well, hello there. That's right, it's me, Adustus's Chris London. <coughs> I hit 2,000 subscribers uh, recently. Get your claw out of my. Yeah, if you don't want this to happen, get your claw out of there. Fuck. I don't like it either, but you did this. I. Ah! God damn it. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I recently hit 2,000 subscribers. Not only that, but, like, relatively blew past it. When you're talking in, like, the relative sense for, like, how small I actually am and all that. Like, 2,000 to 2,100 is a lot different than, say, 3 million to 3 million to 100. That sort of thing. I owe thanks to a lot of people. Uh, Todd Howard, of course. Uh, Vinny from Vine Sauce, who I believe is the first person that, like, shared it, that had a following. That was the first way the views came from. Ah, uh, and then so many different people. I, I, I've, I've made friends uh, off of this. And of course, the, uh, the the one that most of you, if anybody new is watching this, uh, the one that you probably care about is uh, PewDiePie. I've gotten like 80,000 views on that video since PewDiePie shared it, which of course like blows my mind. I'm incredibly grateful for it. But also, God, I wish that he had shared it in any month other than November, you know? And so these recent milestones uh, kind of gave me a convenient reason to uh, make this video that I've kind of wanted to make for a bit where uh, I want to answer a, a couple pretty frequent questions and stuff that comes up. Uh, thank you guys for the continued support over the years, those of you who have been here a long time, and also those of you who are new, uh, if you do check out any of the other stuff on the channel, uh, very, very little of it is uh, similar to the Todd Howard video. I do have some other, like, kind of meme or funny videos. Uh, in any, any of my videos that have a review in them are not actual reviews, I'll tell you that much. Those are usually my weirdest shit. Uh, but for the most part, the, the content is a bit more serious and introspective, but hopefully you enjoy it. And so I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll talk about the Todd Howard related stuff. Um, a lot of people have asked me to make another Todd Howard ASMR video. Uh, I've said this in comments a few times, but I'll, but I'll clarify here. I do have it planned as a trilogy. When I initially made it, it was just kind of a test to see if I could do, like, the sound mixing part of it. I wanted to give myself some kind of audio challenge, and so, hey, can I create the ambiance of this bathroom at a concert? For some reason is what I settled on. I'm happy with how it came out, but I want to give myself something more challenging, something with more dynamic sounds. And to that end, I have planned two more videos in, in that series, I guess if you want to call it. Uh, so for those of you who want more of that, um, I am working on some further ones. Uh, they will not be about Fallout 76. That, that's another thing that comes up a lot, is people are like, ah, make one about Fallout 76. Make one about uh, the, the, the Skyrim, you know, Legendary Edition. And the thing is, like, the, the video isn't really about the games, uh, really, and, and it's really only barely about Todd Howard himself. Like, the primary response that I get to that video is just, what is this, or why does this exist? Which is exactly what I was going for. That, that's what, like, when I finished making it, that was my first thought, is just, I, I can't believe that this exists. And especially that I was, like, the one who brought it into this world. It's our own form of absurdism. It's, it, it's what I'd like to think Tom Stoppard would be doing if he was born in the 90s. So in that sense, it's really just about kind of uh, taking what's so bizarre about memes and just the, the fact that we've created this entire personality for a man. Todd Howard, sure, it all comes from stuff that he said and all that, but like, when you look at some of the stuff that we've made around Todd Howard, it, it's fascinating. Uh, how, how much of a personality we've created for this poor Poor man. And by the way, if you don't know about this website, go to toddhoward.sexy. That is the website that largely inspired that video. Um, if, if you look at that and you look at the video, you realize, oh, this video is really just uh, the idea behind toddhoward.sexy, but made into an ASMR video. More or less. So there is more Todd Howard coming, but it's not about dunking on the games. Um, but I do have something planned, and I, and I hope that it's something that none of you expect, but something that you'll appreciate when it happens. So, what can you expect uh, from this channel in the future? First off, uh, I am going to be doing a Q&A uh, to celebrate the 2,000 subscriber thing. Um, so, you can leave questions here. You can send them to me on Twitter. You can go to my Discord. There's a link down below. You can go and uh, ask those questions on the Discord. Uh, and I will do a Q&A video in probably a week or two. Uh, if you have been watching the channel, you'll know that one of the things I've been doing uh, over the last year has been these videos kind of exploring movies and trying to look at them in kind of like a new way, a more subjective like point of view. Analysis is important, but I think that uh, music and movies and all that stuff, like, like, like the real value comes out of the way that it personally hits you. That's where it like actually fulfills us. 
So I've been doing like a series kind of exploring that, and I've been really happy with the way those have been coming out. And uh, up to this point, it's been like a video from me, and then uh, a video from Miles, and a video from Max, you know, my friends and roommates and stuff like that. And I will still be doing some videos with my friends uh, and stuff like that, but I've, uh, I really decided that I really want to make like a series out of that. And so I've started reaching out to, and I've already recorded some of the videos, uh, to just a wider variety of people, a wider variety of voices. So I'm already working on the next wave of those. Uh, I would like to do one every other month is like my goal? Well, one every other month is what I want to do is, is, is the bare minimum uh, going into the next year. Uh, I might get this one out in December, but I, I, there's another video I want to get done instead this month that's a kind of a big edit. Uh, so I'll probably do that first. But next year I really want to do at least one every other month. But if I can get enough people lined up, I would love to do one a month. Uh, I think that'd be incredible. I, I've really enjoyed making those, and we've had some really cool discussions uh, in the comments on a lot of those videos. Uh, the Speed Racer one brought up a lot of interesting stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to do that. If you look at the channel, you'll probably see that I've been doing a lot of stuff called Smash Talk. Uh, that will be going away when Smash comes out in a couple days. Uh, maybe not right away, but like within the weeks coming after it. Basically, Smash Talk is what I, is what I started this channel doing, like years and years ago, before Smash 4 was even announced. Uh, and it's basically just kind of, here's all the possible characters that could be in Smash, that sort of thing. Uh, and it's something I brought back for Ultimate because a lot of my subscribers wanted to see it, and I was excited for the game, and uh, I turned it into more of a kind of podcast with my friend Isaac, who has a channel that is much more Smash-focused than mine. Um, so I decided to do it for old time's sake, uh, but they take up a lot of space, and uh, it's just kind of... It makes it look like the channel is just all about this thing that it's not really about. So when the game actually comes out and those speculation videos uh, aren't really useful anymore, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna unlist them, but they will be in a playlist on my channel, just like the ones I did years and years ago. Uh, so you can always go back and watch Smash Talks through there. I just don't want them to be taking up all the space on the, my videos page and all that. And I don't I don't want that to be what people see when they look for the channel, uh, compared to the stuff I've made that I want to be kind of evergreen. Outside of that, uh, my friend Miles, uh, who did the Speed Racer video, um, but also, like, if you've been watching the channel, you know who Miles is. Uh, he's recently moved back into the city, he was gone for a while, uh, and I've been working with him on getting uh, a lot of content going and getting him kind of regularly making stuff for the channel. His big thing is VR, and so we're working on a VR show that he's going to be doing on this channel that I'm kind of excited for. Uh, not kind of, I'm really excited for it. Um, we're just figuring out a lot of stuff. We had a big test stream for it a couple days ago. We were just making sure we could get all of this stuff working. Because we also want to do some VR streams. Uh, I'm trying to stream more regularly over on Twitch at a Dustus Plays. Because I can't get a Dustus for some reason. Even though nobody exists with that name. Uh, I just can't, just can't get it. Uh, this year, if you watch the Thanksgiving video. And also if you've just kind of been around uh, the Discord. Or follow me on Twitter or something. You may have gotten some hints that uh, this year has been a particularly rough one. Uh, because of that, I've had to take a lot of time off from uh, video production. And I kind of feel like I'm coming out on the other end of that now. Uh, and I'm kind of getting back into making stuff. But it, it's just been like a string of like... Family health issues and financial issues. Just a lot of stuff like that that has taken up time. But, coming out of that now, we got more content slated up. I'm starting to feel like the, the, the drive coming back. As far as gaming videos go, I, I really want to kind of get back to making... The stuff that I kind of used to make that was uh, both short form and long form, sort of game review slash comedy sort of thing. The problem was that I felt like it was, I stopped feeling like I was saying anything original or, or, or doing anything that other people weren't already doing. Um, and so my drive to make that kind of stuff just kind of dropped off a bit. Um, I'm trying to think of ways that I can bring back that kind of thing, but in a way that I feel better about, uh, and in a way that contributes kind of more to the space and the discussion. and kind of building an understanding of games in a, in, a, in a positive way. I have a couple experimental videos uh, regarding that coming out. I'm doing one on the Sexy Brutale that I'm incredibly nervous about and I've been working on for a really long time. And I'm hoping that it goes over well. Because if it does, there are two more that I already want to do in that style, but I don't want to start recording those until I see what the response is to, to this first one. So that then I can make sure that if there's something I'm doing wrong or something I could do better in the kind of recording and setup process, uh, that it's something I can address and fix for the next one. I don't want to like record a bunch of stuff and then go like, ah oh, man, I really should have done this differently, you know? At the end of the day, this channel uh, sort of exists 
the way it always has, where this is where I go when I'm not working on, um, like, actual film work. It's a place where I go to kind of practice things, and also just to make stuff that I feel like making, stuff that I feel is interesting, or, or stuff that I think hasn't been made yet. Um, but also, like, as I get older and as I just get more experience, like, both in the industry and in making stuff online, I kind of realize what it is that I'm trying to do, and it becomes easier to sort of sum up the stuff that I want to make and why I want to make it. And the conclusion that I've really been coming to this year has been that I want to make things that eliminate shame and encourage empathy. I think that there are ways to talk about what games or movies or whatever we like uh, that don't make people feel bad for disagreeing. There's a trend in YouTube videos, it's like, insert name of thing, was terrible. And it's like a 45 minute video and it's like, you already told me what you think. Let's go and just like beat off about how awful this thing is. Which like, it was like, what is that adding? And maybe the video was actually phenomenal. I, I, I don't know. But like when I look at it, it just, it just feels to me like it's just reveling in something that somebody worked really hard on being bad and just like laying into them. Which, if you're into that, okay, I guess. But then, man, you had better be somebody that actually makes things and does them well. Otherwise, you just seem like a fucking asshole. And I made a lot of content like that when I was younger, uh, looking back. And, yeah, it's, it's so easy. There was a video about Bioshock Infinite that uh, I made. And we never released it, because after I made it, I looked at it, and it was just like... I just didn't feel good about it. I just didn't see what I was contributing. I've got extremely strong feelings about Bioshock Infinite, but when I looked at this video, I was just like, what, what's the actual value that, that I'm putting out there by releasing this? And so we just didn't. And after that point, I never made another video like that. So I don't know. Uh, I personally uh, just don't feel good making that kind of stuff anymore. Uh, and so I'm trying to find a way to, like I said before, uh, encourage empathy and eliminate shame try to talk about these things in a, in, a, in a way that's more conscientious of, like, just everything. Because I feel like that's where we'll actually get the value out of it. I don't know. That's just a very brief summation of what I've been thinking uh, lately. So I'm trying to find a way to do that with this content. And so, with how ambitious uh, we want to get with all this content, uh, the equipment upgrades I've been doing, uh, getting this mic set up for the streams, and just, just, just all this stuff, it's... I am revamping the Patreon. I'm going to be uploading the Patreon video in a couple days. It's already been done. Uh, and I will also be linking the Patreon, like, in that. And, uh, I always feel weird asking for support, uh, but it really is a thing of, like, I spend money on a lot of these videos in terms of, like, getting equipment or get it, getting props. And, you know, I don't monetize on YouTube. Uh, I don't want to deal with the hassle of any of that. And I also feel weird about putting ads on my videos. Um, I just, like, I, I don't feel good about any of that. With Patreon, I at least feel a bit better that, like, if I am making any money off of this, it's because somebody authentically wants me to have money for it and is willing to pay for the content. And so I feel a bit better about that because it's entirely opt-in, as opposed to ads where it's like, you don't get to opt into this, it's something I'm putting on you. You know? Maybe you think differently. Uh, it, it might just be me being weird in the head for some reason. Oh, one other big thing, uh, with Smash Ultimate coming out on Friday, tomorrow, or today, I guess, actually, Wednesday, uh, I'm probably gonna upload this on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm gonna upload this on Wednesday. Isaac and I are gonna be doing a big stream, uh, just talking about Smash, big, big hype. We're gonna talk about all the stuff that happened after we recorded the last Smash talk, because the game got re leaked, basically. The entire game got leaked, and a lot more information came out. So we're going to talk about that, and then we're also just going to take a bunch of questions from you guys and just kind of do, like, a rapid-fire Q&A session. We're just going to do a big hype stream for as long as we feel like, I guess. We'll be starting that around uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 5 o'clock Pacific, um, over on Adustus Place. I'll upload, like, another video uh, when it's about to happen, just to remind everybody. Just, like, a quick little, like, link to the, to the, to the, to the Twitch, uh, and we'll do that. This ended up going on a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I guess I had more things to cover uh, than I thought. It's been a crazy year, and maybe at one point I'll do more of kind of just like a general recap of the year video. Uh, but I just wanted to cover a bunch of things that I felt like I've been needing to say. Um, 
under the guise of a 2,000 subscriber celebration. So thank you for that. I know that's a lot, but thank you for watching. Uh, if you watched. If you didn't watch, can you get out of here. So big things. Patreon video coming out later this week. Big old Smash celebration stream uh, Wednesday. More Todd Howard eventually. And send me those subscriber questions. Don't forget that. A anything you want to ask about. You want to ask about film. You want to ask about this channel. You want to ask about anything. I will answer it as long as it's not really creepy. Unless it's creepy in an entertaining way. Who knows?